It's reviews with booze time. <laughs> and today I was rocking out to Hinsingen Blues by Graveyard. Fucking Swedish. Sweet ass. <laughs> it's Swedish and it's Swedish. Like more than ish. This is fucking sweet. <laughs> All right, that might have been fucking stupid, but this album's pretty good from top to bottom, to be motherfucking honest, completely, my friends. Um, I love the production on this album with the the ooze that I think is probably the lead singer's voice layered, but I I don't know about that. Could be wrong, but all the ooze and the ooze stuff like that, it's really cool, and the Oh, organ. It's really cool, too. What's crazy about this fucking album is that I, my friend has the vinyl version, and I have uh, the CD version, actually, and uh, this is the only one where, the only, I mean, not the only album, but it's crazy when you have an album or a live performance, and it's like, oh, man, there's a bonus track at the end. See, on this album, you hear the song The Siren, which is the last song on the vinyl, and it's so epic and awesome that you're just like, damn, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to fucking hear no mo, man. That was fucking dope. And so after you hear the siren on here, they play a bonus track, Cooking Brew. And it's just like, no, no, that doesn't top the siren. No, no, no. So it's a good song, but it's almost like, whoa, keep it off the album, brothers. Uh, anyways, um... It's good sound overall. I love the guitar tones and the uh, style. It definitely good. Sounds bluesy. Uh, some people would say throwback, and some hipsters recently, or not recently, I mean, they're not a super old band, but. Maybe use a booze, motherfucker. Like they came to Tempe, and all these hipsters were suddenly like, oh, Graveyard, those guys have played over the Yucatan. Oh my god, they're so cool. Whoa. And then they go to fucking buy the record, and they're like, why is it filed in the heavy metal section? Blah, 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 blah. Did you forget where metal came from? From bands like Led Zeppelin? From bands like Black Sabbath? From fucking rock and roll? I'm tired of all these sub-genres. And fucking throwback band is not what I want to say about these guys. It's de demeaning and... Uh, it's just not good. That's just like... A shitty classification for a really sweet thing. Of course, also, you can't say throwback, because rock and roll has been alive and strong and kicking forever, motherfuckers. Outside of that, I like these dudes, because they're kind of haggard dudes. And, you know, keeping it real. <laughs> but also, they got a new album coming out next month, and I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to listen to it, and I can't wait to reviews and brizzly, brizzly bruise it. You know what I'm saying, motherfuck face? Graveyard. Incision Blues. Great album. Check it out. Get it on vinyl. It's like perfect ends that way, and it sounds a little bit more tits. Uh, on the back of the album, too, it's like, please listen to it as loud as possible to enjoy it to its full potential. I think that kicks ass. <laughs> but, uh... Winston Smee's nose, P's nose, C on the flea's nose. Motherbugger. <laughs>